Hi guys, welcome back. I got them. I got them. If you've been following me over on Instagram, I actually saw this circulating last week, the new Buffalo style chickenless wings from Trader Joe's. And I shared it and I was like, gotta get our hands on it. And at that time, just a week ago, it had said that it's coming soon. And then about two days later, they posted again that they were like appearing in stores. So I went yesterday, which was Tuesday. Today's Wednesday try to get this up for you as soon as possible. And they said they would have them in our location here in Vegas, pretty much all the Trader Joe's locations here, and it would be in Wednesday morning. So here I am, Wednesday morning, popped in there, there they were. $4.69 a bag, not too bad. And I am really, really excited to try these. I feel like what a perfect launch time going into Super Bowl weekend. And that's where I really wanted to get my hands on these for you guys and put them to the test. Could be perfect. Now, at glance, does this not remind you of the Just Meat? I think that's what it's called. <laughs> the Just Meat Wings. Those launched a few years ago, and I don't know why this stands out to me, but I actually tried those out, not this last Vlogmas, but the one before. I just remember that. And I really, really like them a lot. I know you can find them at Sprouts and actually sometimes at Sam's Club. Sam's Club, of course, you're gonna get like a bigger bag. And if I remember right, they're like $20, but it's a pretty good size bag. With that said, I will say as much as I was a fan of them, I felt they were on the pretty pricey side. And so with that, I don't feel like I've even really repurchased them since, even though they were a hit. They're just pretty high in price. So I feel like this is kind of like giving me those vibes if they're similar in taste. These are definitely less. So I'm hoping that this, because again, just a glance, that's totally what it's giving me. I'm hoping this will be basically that from Trader Joe's. So we got to try it out. We got to do it. So I was looking at the back here and it says that you can deep fry them for like six minutes or air fry them. I'm probably just going to air fry them. I feel like everyone does that now. I mean, that's pretty much what I stick to myself. Of course, air fry or bake them either way. Uh, five minutes on one side, give them a flip, five minutes on the other. Super simple. The sauce packet that it does come with is separate, which I do kind of prefer. I mean, sometimes it's nice when it's like, just coat it on there and you just cook them up and it is what it is. But I think it's good that you can kind of control if it's too spicy for you um, or if you don't want to actually have them coated and just dip, you know? That also reminds me of their cauliflower tempura kung pao bites. I might have said that completely backwards, but at Trader Joe's as well, same kind of thing. Because I feel like, and you know your girl loves spice, uh, those are pretty spicy. And so I find that even like half a pack for those in particular, which would also be great for Super Bowl, uh, are, are perfect just to use half. So I kind of like that too. I'm going to say though that buffalo style sauces it's funny, I just told you I'm a spicy girl. I like spice, I do. But I, I will say it's not that I don't like buffalo sauce, but it's not really my go-to. I feel like buffalo sauce is more on the hot side than it is the spicy side. And I kind of prefer spice, I like the Kung Pao spice even. But like I said, I still like it. But we'll see, we'll see how hot or spicy it really is. But should we just get in? I think we should. Let's do the thing. I bought two bags. I'm hopeful. I'm going in hopeful. Anyway, if you guys enjoy, please give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate it. That looks hot. It does. I, I see the little pepper pieces in there. Okay. They look good. They look good. Okay. They smell amazing. Look at the coating on them. Yes. Look. Heck yeah. All right. I'm going to do three of them. I feel good about this. I do. Let's give it a whirl. Okay, so that's going. It shouldn't be too loud. Sometimes on camera it picks up a little bit louder, but love that thing because it is so quiet. But anyway, those are going. And it does say just to run this under some hot water just to loosen it up. I can do that easy enough. Should we just taste this on its own? Let's do it. All right, I'm gonna let that sit in there for a second. And I thought I could go over some of the ingredients slash macros with you guys if you're interested. And again, this bag is about two and a half servings for the whole thing. And it says per serving is about four pieces with the sauce included. So we got 270 calories again per serving, total fat 14 grams, sodium 760 milligrams, carbs 21 grams, five from fiber, 
protein is 15, which is pretty cool. And then on the ingredients list here, it, it's a pretty long list. It is, but it does, you know, between the sauce and the chicken pieces, I get that. But it is made primarily from a soy protein concentrate. And I, my first glance to that, because that's the first ingredient, was like, oh, cool, it's not a pea protein. Because I know so many products have launched more recently that's like a pea protein. Now, I really like it, but I know some people don't. So it was kind of cool to see that. However, in the list though too, it is showing pea protein in it as well. It's just not like at the top, just saying. Anyway, um, but yeah, basically soy protein, vegetable oil, uh, breading is modified cornstarch, rice flour, salt, uh, and then again, sugar, pea protein, yeast extract, garlic powder, onion powder, a lot of like, you know, seasonings in it and stuff. Should we give this the, oh yes, oh we're good, oh we're good. Kind of break it up a little bit. It's a beautiful day. I hope it's like getting a little more sunny where you are. Gotta get out there. Kind of put it off this morning. I had to go to the Trader Joe's. So that's what I did. <laughs> anyway, let's, let's give this, let's give this a taste. Let's see. It smells good. It smells strong. Just, just a little bit, you know. Chopstick. It's good. It is. But it's cool too because again, it's got a kick. It does. But you can use this. And I would almost suggest if you're gonna do it for like a Super Bowl party or what have you, do a little dish of the sauce and then do you know, barbecue sauce, ranch, whatever on the sides too, and then people can pick. It's spicy. I mean, it's good, but it is spicy. See, it's like, is that the best way to describe it? Do you know what I'm saying between a spicy and a hot? And I feel like when I first taste it, I, I get the spice, I'm like, I like that. But then it like lingers hot which is not always my favorite, but it is really good. Does it make any sense? Let me get some water, which is probably not gonna help, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> didn't help. What else, what else? Oh, I didn't grab them. I was just like totally tunnel vision, but I hear they're amazing. I mean, what could go wrong? But another new item that Trader Joe's just launched too is, you know their, um, their Oreos, the Trader Joe's, JoJo's, they just launched a uh, Cinnabon one. Yep, they did. I hear great things, but again, what could go wrong? That just came out and then I think they did do another one that is kind of a Cinnabon, Cinnabon, Cinnabon pancake type little like cookie. That one though is not vegan. I did happen to see that yesterday when I, I, I checked it because I was like, what are you? Uh, when I was looking for these originally, but yeah, that was a new one too. But that one again, not vegan, but the Cinnabon JoJo's. I'll be back. She'll be back. But see, it's funny because if you guys know too and been following a while, I'm more, much more the spicy girl for sure. And Nate, my husband, not so much, but he loves buffalo sauce typically. I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. But again, I guess it just goes down to like that type of spice, right? All right, so I'm gonna actually put a little bit of this uh, Hidden Valley Ranch plant powered one. Love this stuff, by the way. Uh, you can find it at Walmart. Walmart and Smith's primarily is where I get it. Cause I mean, I might want a little ranch to cool it down. Options. I think they're done. They look good. Yep. Okay. I mean, they're gonna be hot, but whatever. They keep their their form. They completely remind me of, again, those like meat wings. That's good. Okay. I just wanted to try it like on its own, but let's go on the buffalo. Let's, let's do it. It works. It's delicious. 
I really thought it would be. Oh man. Okay, let's cool it down. I love the texture. The breading is, is crispy. I think they'd be amazing, of course, deep fried, but even just air frying them for 10 minutes, it's crispy. You can hear that, but it is. Oh yeah, let's, let's do it again. Let's, let's just see where we're at. I love them. Oh man. Mm hmm Fantastic party idea, like for sure. Mm hmm Simple as that. I hope you have a Trader Joe's. I hope you're able to find them. Again, they came in today when I got them. And so hopefully, again, I feel like this was a strategic launch <laughs> before Super Bowl. So point being, I think your store will have them. I hope they do. Definitely grab a bag or eight and uh, enjoy. Now, I say this is spicy, and it is, but it's quite delicious. And when you're not eating it just straight and you have this, it's really like a good combo. It's, it's yummy. I'm in. I am in. That didn't take me long. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely recommend. I hope you find them. If you do and you try them out, let me know what you think too. And I'll keep my eye out for some more new items and I will definitely share them with you as soon as I come upon them. Anyway, my friends, hope you have a great, great day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.